What's up guys, Kwame here and welcome to Tech Today. So, last time well, last year I spoke about how to protect your devices here, Windows is up from ransomware and I think a lot of people didn't pay heed to it because a friend of mine in my own office got attacked with a ransomware and now he has lost his files because he had to format the machine in order to be able to use it again. So, refer to that video on my YouTube channel and then look at how you can keep your Windows devices safe from ransomware. So until recently, Macs were safe from ransomware, but now, ransomware has been developed for Mac devices, right? So if you're a Mac user, there's a ransomware now called the Thief Quest. Now this ransomware doesn't only ransom your files. It also acts as a spyware, which is the reason why you need to pay attention to this and keep your devices safe, right? Let me read for you what exactly it does as a spyware besides ransoming your device. Now it says that the Thief Quest as a whole um, has a whole set of other capabilities that allow it to exfiltrate files from an infected computer. Now search system for passwords and cryptocurrency wallet data and run a robust key logger to grab passwords, credit card numbers, or other financial information as a user types it in. Now the spyware component also lags persistently as a backdoor on infected devices, meaning it sticks around even after a computer reboots and could be used as a launch pad for additional or second stage attacks. So Mac users, your devices are no longer safe. Please stay away from sinister websites. Stay away from certain um, sports or um, video sites, okay? You know those places are, the, are where you get attacked the most from. So please keep your devices safe from going to those spaces, all right? Now, moving on, I want to throw a spotlight on a tech startup, and they have an app called the Mila app. So the Mila app is a social media um, platform that enables users to chat in a community so it's a community-based social media app basically that's what it is so for instance if you live in Dansuman and you have other people also living in Dansuman using the Mila app you can have chats and other kind of conversations in there share files photos videos and stuff like that then if you move from Dansuman to maybe say Mamprobi then you can't chat with the Dansuman people you'd have to chat with people other Mila app users in Mamprobi that's, I think this is an ingenious app and we should try it out because it can be used for a lot of community-based activities, you know, security, um, sharing information, getting to know yourself and stuff like that. It is good for socialization among communities. So check it out from the Google Play Store now. The Mila app, M-E-L-E-R app is there. Check it out and download it and use it. But this is how I run up today on, on Tech Today. My name is Kwame. Stay tuned for more. See you again in the next one. Peace out.